Do you find yourself putting people on a pedestal? Have you ever obsessed over someone because you felt they were pulling away from you? When we treat someone like a celebrity, showering them with admiration and attention, we risk them treating us like a fan. This power dynamic is a subconscious tendency stemming from childhood trauma and it can ruin our relationships and confidence. The behavior coming from this power dynamic is what can drive the other person away from you. They can get even more distant and unattainable to a point your relationship breaks up and you start chasing them even more. If you often find yourself in this position, I recommend you to watch until the very end because you can reverse this dynamic and I will explain just how to do that and have them chasing you. Flipping the dynamic. You can actually have the power dynamic work in your favor. To hold someone's attention, we must learn to flip this dynamic. Instead of being the one who chases, we become the one who attracts them. This transformation begins with you understanding your intrinsic value and self-worth. You will not attract anyone for long if you find yourself inferior to them. Few years back, I had a girl break up with me because I was putting her on a pedestal. She treated me like I was a cater to her needs and eventually this killed the relationship. I was really desperate. I chased her even more and she was even more repelled by this. After some time, I started hanging out with a new group of friends and met few girls that were interested in me, which made me feel good about myself. All of a sudden, I had my ex wanting to get back with me. I didn't do anything, but then I realized. The secret lies in the energy. She doesn't even know what is going on in my life, hasn't seen me in a while, but she could sense I was losing interest in her. My focus and energy stopped going in her direction, and all of a sudden the whole dynamic changed. Before I knew it, she was chasing me. The art of detachment. I spent time thinking what brought this on. I realized the only change was that I stopped putting her on a pedestal. I stopped feeding her energetically with all of my attention. My energy changed, and this brought on a completely opposite power dynamic. I had detached from the outcome and stopped caring if we will be together or not. Because now, I was aware the world is filled with opportunities and I didn't need to treat anyone like they were better than me. I wasn't dependent on her liking me in order to feel worthy. Embracing the Abundance Mindset The key step to reversing the power dynamic is changing your mindset. If you put someone on a pedestal, then you will never vibrate the same as them. It is you that puts them in unattainable and distant position by staying in the position of a needy fan. But if you can embrace the fact that there are many other possibilities for meaningful connections out there, you will start releasing the energetic grip and free yourself of scarcity. Meeting new people will greatly help you see you have other options and realize you do not need to chase anyone. Becoming the star of your own movie. To attract others, we must first become the star of our own movie. This means taking ownership of our lives, passions, and purpose. When we focus on our own growth and happiness, we radiate energy that magnetically draws others towards us. Authenticity becomes the centerpiece of our interactions attracting deeper and more genuine connections. Redefine self-image. The most significant shift we can ever make is redefining our self-image. By comparing yourself to others and rating yourself, you keep putting yourself in a negative position. If you think you are a four on a scale from one to 10, then it's not your actual looks or achievements that the person is attracted to. What they are attracted to or repelled by is the energy of our own self-image. If you constantly think you are less than other people, they will sense this vibe and be repelled by it. It's not about your appearance or what you have achieved. It's always been about what you feel and think about yourself. Whether you are trying to attract a specific person or just generally become more attractive, the work will always involve redefining your self-image. The journey of self-love. One of the most important steps to changing your self-image and becoming a magnet for connection is learning to love yourself unconditionally. When we cultivate self-love, self-compassion, we stop needing external validation for our feelings, which makes us automatically attractive. The most attractive person is the one that doesn't need others to validate their self-worth. Embodying fun and joy. 
Another critical element of becoming attractive is embodying fun. Laughter and enjoyment are contagious, and when we share positive energy with others, they naturally want to be around us. It's important to find ways to enjoy time on your own. If you can be happy on your own, people will gravitate towards you like you are the only person in the world. On the other hand, if you don't enjoy your time on your own, it will be hard for others to enjoy being around you. If you abandon yourself, what reasons do others have to not do the same? A balanced pursuit. While we want to attract rather than chase, it is essential to realize it is all energy. Where we put our focus is where our energy will go. This means if you focus enough energy on yourself, you are telling everyone around you you are worth your own energy and time. This makes them attracted to being around you on a completely subconscious level. When you are aware of your own worth, relationships become a dance of genuine interest from both sides. To attract others, we need to be aware the attraction is all about power dynamics. Paradoxically, by giving ourselves the attention and realizing our own self-worth, others are more attracted to us and want to be close. The power dynamic at play demands of you to practice loving yourself, letting go of external validation, and remaining authentic. Once you have acknowledged your own self-worth, you will never chase again. If you often find yourself chasing a specific person, then never forget, the world changes its opinion of you exactly one day after you. Embracing yourself is giving others the opportunity to do the same. Your self-image is the most important aspect of changing this power dynamic, and it is the one that holds power to bring on a complete change in your entire life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and turn on the bell icon so you never miss a new video coming out every day. If you would like to support my channel growth, you can also make a PayPal donation. Please drop a comment and let me know what topic you would like us to discuss in one of the future videos. See you in the next one.